Hello friends, this video on thermal properties of matter part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 11 before going ahead with part 12. Now let us look at problem 3. Show that the coefficient of area expansions delta A by A divided by delta t of a rectangular sheet of solid it twi is twice its linear expansivity that is alpha n. Okay, so now we are talking of area expansion. Let us suppose we have a rectangular sheet, something of this sort. Let us suppose this length is x and this length is y and the width is y. Now let us suppose that it expands. Let us say it expands and reaches this shape. So what happens? This area is the additional area. This total area is the additional area or the change in area due to increase in temperature. Now we know that when temperature increases by delta T, the linear expansion is given by delta L by L is equal to alpha L into delta T or we can say that delta L is equal to alpha L into L delta T. So this would be the change in length. So we can say that delta X will be equal to alpha L into X delta T and delta Y will be equal to alpha L into Y into delta T. So we wrote these two equations on the basis of this relation because if we talk only along the x-axis then delta x is the change in length if we talk only along the y-axis then delta y is the change in length so we can say that the increase in area due to the increase in temperature what is that the increase in area that is delta a will be equal to this area plus this area plus this area let us suppose this is 1, this is 2 and this is 3. So the change in area is area 1 plus area 2 plus area 3. So what is this area 1? This is delta y and let us suppose this is delta x. So what is area 1? Area 1 is length into breadth. So here length is x and breadth is delta y. So this will be x delta y. For 2, it is delta x, delta y. So, this will be delta x, delta y. For 3, it would be delta x into y. Now, we will replace the value of x, delta x. Now, we will replace the value of delta x and delta y in this. So, we can write x into delta y is lambda l y delta t plus delta x is alpha l x delta t delta y is alpha l y into delta t plus delta x that is alpha l into x delta t into y so this comes out to be x y alpha l delta t plus alpha l square x y delta t square plus x y alpha l delta t. So this we can write it as 2 x y alpha l delta t plus alpha l square x y delta t square. Now what is x y? x into y is nothing but the initial area that is a. So this is equal to 2a alpha l delta t plus alpha l square into a delta t square. Now let us solve the remaining part this side. So after this, this will be a alpha L delta T 
into 2 plus alpha n delta t. Now since delta t is very small, so we can neglect this term to 0. So we can say that delta a is equal to twice a alpha n into delta t. Or we can say delta a by a, that is the fractional change in area, is equal to 2 into alpha l delta t. Or this can be written as delta a by a into delta t is equal to 2 alpha l. Now what is this? This is area expansion per unit time. So this is basically the coefficient of area expansion. So alpha a is equal to twice of alpha l. So this is what we wanted to prove. We wanted to prove coefficient of area expansion that is alpha a of a rectangular sheet of solid is twice its linear expansivity that is alpha a is equal to 2 alpha l. I hope it is clear to you how we arrived and proved the result. Now let us go ahead and look at yet another problem. The problem states the coefficient of volume expansion of glycerin is 49 into 10 to the power minus 5 per Kelvin. What is the fractional change in its density for a 30 degree Celsius rise in temperature? So the given values in this question is alpha v that is 49 into 10 to the power minus 5 Kelvin inverse. Change in temperature that is delta T is equal to 30 degrees Celsius. So we have to find out the fractional change in density. Now we know that density is nothing but mass per unit volume. So if we are able to find out the fractional change in volume, it will be easier for us to find out the fractional change in density. Now what is the fractional change in volume? Fractional change in volume is nothing but the change in volume divided by the original volume. So that is delta V by V. So delta V by V is equal to alpha V into delta T. So this delta V will be nothing but the final volume, let us say V dash minus initial volume that is V. So V dash minus V by V is equal to alpha V into delta T. So from this we can write V dash minus V is equal to V into alpha V delta T. Now what is V? V will be nothing but from this we can write volume will be equal to mass divided by density. So we can write it as m divided by rho dash minus m divided by rho is equal to m divided by rho alpha v delta t. So this m will get cancelled on both the sides. So we can say rho minus rho dash divided by rho into rho dash is equal to alpha v into delta t divided by rho. So this rho and this rho will get cancelled. So we can say that delta rho divided by rho dash is equal to alpha v into delta t. So what is this? This is nothing but the fractional change in density. So the fractional change in density is equal to alpha v which is equal to 49 into 10 to the power minus 5 Kelvin inverse into delta t that is equal to 30 degrees Celsius. So this is 30. So this comes out to be 1.47 into 10 to the power minus 2. So this would be the fractional change in density for this glycerin. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.